this last year too. Good morning everyone. This week I'm trying to get my life together. I feel like I tell myself that every week. Since graduating college, which it's been over a year now, we're approaching the second year. I feel like I've just been balancing on a teeter-totter. Every day is a reset. I think part of the reason I feel like that is because in college, I was super, super organized. It was a lot easier when I had things like assignments and due dates and professors. But this week I really wanna work on setting goals, setting strict plans for myself because I think that's the way I best operate in terms of actually getting things accomplished. that
Like, there's no way, there's no way I can break any more of these. I've been working on a 2022 reflection and I'm using this journal called the Artists of Life workbook. It has a bunch of prompts that help you reflect on the previous year and set goals because one of the things I really had to come to terms with last year is that I simply don't have enough time for all the things that I would like to do. That just means prioritizing. I gotta prioritize. I said this last year too, but it's clear that I still made some really big strides last year, not only in terms of like my shop and everything, but for YouTube. I don't tell you guys how grateful I am. I wouldn't even have the opportunity or the means to do something like this. I realize I'm in a very privileged position and every day I feel so, so lucky for it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> 2023, I'll try to provide you with all the great vlog content, all the yummy recipes, all the cute shop stuff. 2023 is our year. It's the year for my neighbors to slam the doors even louder than usual. I never was a vision board girly because low-key I was like Okay, I, I don't really believe in manifestation, you know, you gotta like work Maybe it's just not for me, so I kind of ignored that I, I really shouldn't write it off before I try it It could be beneficial for someone like me who is like a visual person, a visual learner Having this board I think will help me stay on track and stay focused And remind me of all these goals that I have want to achieve most looking forward to in the new year is traveling. I mentioned it a few vlogs ago, but I wanted to do a group trip to South Korea as well as my Japan trip that's happening at the end of August. And I'm happy to announce that we have finalized all the trip details. Tickets for the South Korea trip are going to launch January 18th. You can get your tickets to go on a group trip with me to South Korea. It is going to be a seven day trip from September 1st all the way to September 7th. We're going to be doing activities like shopping in Hongdae, a tour of the Guangzhou food market, visiting cute cafes and neighborhoods, and taking all those aesthetic pictures. We're even going to have a few days where we take the train to Busan and tour some of the historic sites. It's going to be so much fun. So yes, tickets will be going on sale on January 18th and you will be getting an early bird discount if you're one of the first few to sign up. The price for the early bird tickets are going to be $3,095. So if you know for sure that you want to come on this trip with us, add your email to be notified of the early bird tickets to get $200 off for the first 12 bookings. These are the same price as my Japan tickets as well. Only 25% of the total fee is due to book your spot. And the remainder of the balance is going to be due 90 days before the trip begins. There are going to be a few different payment plans available for you to pay off your trip. So you can do it in either 6 month, 12 month, or even 18 
month increments. All the information will be in the description because I know I'm throwing a lot at you right now. And I'll be doing Instagram Q&As leading up to the trip and answering everyone's DMs as much as I can so we can all have a great time! So yes, lots of traveling. The vlogs are going to be so fun this year. It will be good for me not to spend my entire year just hold up in my apartment. Your girl needs to go out a little, touch grass, live. We're working on breaking the whole body spell. Heading out to get piercings with a friend tonight. I feel like it's a mark in our friendship if we're close enough that I'm asking to get piercings with you. I am the one forcing my friends to get piercings with me just because I want piercings, but it's kind of more fun when I go with other people. I know it doesn't look like I have room, but I have some room still. <laughs> I literally bought this in like March of last year. So I told myself 
2022 will be the year that I put a dishwasher to use. 2023 will be the year that I put a dishwasher to use. This game is damn easy. More in depth about the level design itself. Because it's all over the place. These Loki came out way better than I expected them to.
love to do with my friends is take pictures and photo booths so I got this and it's like a photo album for photo strips specifically 